everybody gets to live the same Tell way Tell me as what you. rights we don't have. What laws that we don't have. Girl, I'm going to send you... No, I so want to much. know. No, I want to know. Say, say it now. now. No, I, if you're going to sit here and rights? tell us that we're missing rights, that we are not allowed to what exist. What do no, gay and trans tell, right. uh, tell me. We are approaching the 150th episode of Middle Ground, and we need your help to continue making more episodes. Join our Middle Ground Patreon community and help us write the future of Middle Ground. The LGBTQIA plus community has moved too far to the left. Oof, girl. How many letters are there? <laughs> How many? A hundred? It's difficult because, you know, I think what was once like a very loving and accepted community has pushed so far to the left that, you know, we're seeing this massive pendulum swing that is coming back the other direction that is going to put our entire community, unfortunately, in danger because- It already has. It, it already has because it has gone so far to the left rather than being a good common sense middle ground that now people who did not used to carry a prejudice against us or have an issue with our community are suddenly finding themselves to have prejudice against the LGBTQ community. We have prejudice against ourselves. That's, that's true. Even <laughs> yes. I'm develop developing a prejudice. Yeah, like I can't point. stand lesbians now. <laughs> like there are people here and I'm not, I won't call that individuals, but there are people here that I was friends with that I literally went on vacations with that have unfriended me, unfollowed me, just for simply standing up to, or standing up for uh, young lesbians and gay men who are calling themselves all these other genders, or because I'm not for children transitioning, or just because I voted for Trump, <laughs> you know? And it's a shame because we want to be, we, we don't want to be, rather, we don't want to be a hive mind, right? We are, like the whole point of being, the one of the points of us being lesbians is that we're different. Yep. We have different, outlooks on life. We have different talents. I feel like with a lot of marginalized groups, the biggest downfalls to them is simply when usually outside groups create division, a left and a right. The left doesn't accept the right, the right doesn't accept the left, and then that divides all of us. Instead of being one powerful group, it just crumbles, we're divided. I think it's unfortunate that sexuality is tied to a you know political outlook to begin with, that is no longer like, oh, Republicans don't want gay people to exist. Like, that's not a thing anymore. And I think it's so unfortunate how politicized our entire community has become. It is. I think it's important to note that we're here calling ourselves conservative lesbians, but we're really, like some of us aren't really conservatives. We're just non-leftists. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we haven't really moved. Like, if people call me a grifter or whatever they want to call me. I haven't moved over the years. Mm -hmm. I've been stagnant. Like, I've, I've, I am set in my morals. I'm in my mid thirties, like I know where I'm at. And people, mainly the LGBT, whatever community, moved further and further left. I stayed where I was, and somehow I was the one that was ostracized. Well, that's because what used to be moderate is now considered conservative. conservative. And what used to be your general liberal, which I think a lot of us at one point probably aligned ourselves with, is no longer that. It is so far past that, which, you know, I had to draw a hard line. I'm not with this anymore. We all can have different beliefs. You can be this race and, still think this way or be this uh be gay and think this way so it's just really sad to see and i feel like you know we our community has been used so much to push other things like 100%. we're being used as a shield so everyone queers for palestine really really go to palestine as a queer person see what happens <laughs> somebody's gonna have to sit next to me <laughs> Conservatism itself means that you like the things that are going now and that traditionally it's going good for you, for us. Um, I personally disagree with that because of the things that I have been through. Um, the discrimination from everyone, doesn't matter whether they're left or right or you know not part of the community, is not working for us. It's not working for me at least. Can I ask you a question? Sorry, I don't mean to interrupt. Yeah, for sure. You know how they, the left people on the left have redefined the word woman? What do you mean by that? A lot of people, a lot of people that identify on the far left, LGBT or not, have redefined the word woman to mean basically anything. Yeah, I'm not so, binary. I use they them pronouns. So, yeah, so there you go. Okay, so you so you have changed uh, uh, the meaning or the whatever, right? Conservatism is just the opposite of leftism at this point, okay. as far as I'm concerned. So I just want to make sure that so that is. So what are you known. saying? The opposite of leftism? Could you? Cons the new age conservatives are really old age libertarians or like moderates or just classic liberals for the most part. So I j just 
just to make sure like we're on the same page a little bit. You yeah, know what I mean? exactly. So what I'm saying is that because we are growing, if you want to include more people, because technically the lesbian flag has changed to an orange stripe for non-men such as myself. I still identify as a lesbian. I'm still here. Can I ask you how you identify as a lesbian when you're not a woman? Because I'm not, I'm a non-man. Because that, that's a terrible definition in my opinion, but. But that, that's fine. You're allowed to believe what you believe because I believe in freedom of speech. But. So I believe in including everyone. Doesn't ma it doesn't matter what other people go by. I think that being left and having this conversation go to left means that we don't care anymore. We, everyone can be a part of the community no matter who you are. Labels don't matter as much as you know they did back then because it was only the LGB. When we're moving towards the left, we're moving towards the you know, the future, including more people. Sometimes gatekeeping is a good thing, though. Yeah. And sometimes segregation is a good thing. Why? <laughs> well, why? Well, how? Okay. So no, you're no, saying, I'm, I'm talking a lot. Yeah. You're saying that like you guys are opening, accepting more, Absolutely. everything like that. So where's the where's the line then? Because then we have there straight is no people. Line. So so then. Why have a community if there's everybody's in the community? If you self-identify in the community, then we're all there for each other. Doesn't if if you're straight and you identify as straight, you are not part of the community. I do not identify as straight. I identify as a non-binary lesbian because the lesbian community has accepted me because I don't feel comfortable in my gender identity because growing up I didn't feel, you know, accepted in the lesbian community. So now that we're moving left and we're accepting more people into it, I'm finally accepted in the community. People, you know, actually do accept non-binary lesbians. If you don't identify as a woman, and a lesbian is a woman who loves another woman, then why would you not identify as queer? And yes, we're going to labels here, but like genuine curiosity, I'm trying to understand, because if a lesbian is no longer a woman who's sexually attracted to another woman, then a lesbian can be Anybody. Anything. Anybody. A man. Which is a literally man. what's happening yes. in, in the world it, right now. That's the problem. Like there straight up dudes be... that are not trans women, straight up dudes going on lesbian dating apps oh, yeah. and, and calling us transphobic and... Yep. You know, I think there's a bit of a gray area there. If I'm uh, sorry to interrupt, no, no, correct please. me if I'm wrong. I, I, I'm under the impression that with non-binary lesbians, there's a bit of a gray area because uh, you can often have a very similar experience than um, a a woman who is a lesbian being non-binary because if you um because we're all female you can well, say if it, you're okay. a, yeah if you're assigned female at birth and you date women and you before you knew you were non-binary you were all um, would imagine you were often in lesbian spaces and that's what you identified with so why should you be excluded from that community just because now you know you are non-binary for example I think, like, colloquially speaking, like, now we define lesbian as being, like, non-men loving non-men. I, I think, think there's a very small subset of people that define it that way. I, I just think people, yeah. I mean, like, I'm, people I'm, that I'm just being honest. Oh, yeah, that's all different circles. Like, people different circles. Who have, yeah, absolutely. But I think also, like, language is always conformed around our people and communities. Like, being trans and being non-binary is not a new thing. This has existed mm -hmm. in, like, pre-modern society. It's not new. Um, it's always existed, and language is always conformed around people. Like, we don't make things up and then people start identifying as them. Like, we can form language to fit identity. And, like, it's always been that way. Although I do think people make up words and say that. That's they, also true. I'm sorry. No, that's do. also true. There's, there's, there's a hundred a genders now. A million genders <laughs> that people have literally just made up. It did not Frog, exist. frog self. What does it affect you What other people identify? I, it doesn't. I don't. I it don't care. If I'm they self-identify. Yeah, absolutely. Self-identify as a potato. I feel like a very small group has become the example. There's a small group of left and there's a small group of right that are louder than everybody else and then Absolutely. everybody else yes. is being forgotten. Absolutely. Yep. I think one thing that separated us is that I think you often, and I'm not trying to just point out, but since you, I am the friend of yours, that I cannot longer support you because you don't support me, right? If how you, do my, how do uh, I'm, I'm explaining, you? right? Oh, okay. Because I believe that when you use your voice, you, you were coming from a place of privilege without realizing that the things that you were sharing were negatively attacking me and my lifestyle. You are able to have privilege because you don't show up like I show up. You're not a woman of color, you're, you're not masculine. So it's easy for you to say, oh yeah, this is okay, but you're not realizing that you're forgetting me and my existence and what I might need. We're under attack. LGBTQIA plus Who? is under attack. We have 650 plus anti-LGBTQ bills attacking our existence. A lot of y'all talk about, oh, how, oh, it's mostly attacking trans kids, which we all should be pissed. 
If anybody's attacking our kids, we should all be pissed. But 350 plus attacking the LGB, which y'all want to just emphasize and say everybody else doesn't count. It's it's this, but we are all being attacked. And so for you to not see that is privilege. And I think that I, I just really need you to understand that. Would you like to comment as a woman of color? Yeah, absolutely. So what, what laws are affecting lesbian women of color? In Florida right now, um, if there's a lesbian couple, because there's a lesbian couple that are going through this right now. Um, right now, if somebody calls the cops on a lesbian couple see, saying that they're being inappropriate, um, they could face jail time. You just know, for someone calling them and having to go through. Children, I don't know if that's totally true. That is, if that is, is then, then you text me because I'll go but to the same I've never myself. heard it of that true. and th there's not many. I, I would love to hear all of these laws that are affecting me. As I, I, am, I am an American and I have every right as everybody else does. I have nothing stopping me from getting married, owning my own home, starting my own business, nothing. As okay. a, raising, raising kids, kids. That's privilege. That, how is that privilege? But how she's also privilege? a person of color. I'm a person, a of, person color. of color. I know, but you <laughs> so show up differently person? than I do. How? But, but you but presenting your mask? Then has no, no Wait, effect so, on that. So since you and being black, I, I am also black. So what? I'm black and Hispanic. So what? Me too. What, what laws are different for you? I would like. Okay. To. Well, if you want to talk afterward, I got you. Okay. I am on the board of Lambda Legal. We're fighting these 650 plus anti LGBTQ okay. bills. I have a list for you. Also, there's so many documentaries. The thing is, I think what you're, you're, you want to just battle with me instead of understanding that we just live differently our experiences are different sure, that's, so all i'm asking y'all to do is understand that we're trying i'm to not trying to take away from no, you not. and whatever but being able to be in that mindset without understanding any, somebody else's experience is privileged and that's what i'm trying I, to get y'all to understand I, I, if i could butt in real oh, quick sure. i just i want to go back to what you know earlier you guys were saying you know kind of the lgb blah 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 that's also not caring about the rest of the humans that self-identify as those people. We want to respect those people. Even if we don't agree with them, we're still going to respect them no matter what. You know, I may not agree with you guys, but I'm still going to respect you and what you self-identify as, which hopefully you will do the same to us, which is what you're saying that the left is becoming right. That makes no sense because we're trying to advocate for the change. The right is advocating for keeping things the way they are. Why we're running into all of these anti-LGBTQ legislation, as you put it, is because things have gone so far liberal that now we're facing this backlash from the traditional ultra right community, which is why all of these bills are coming up, which is endangering our community as a whole. And I think that that is the basis of this. We have gone too far this way, and now this side is coming back to fight us. I think there has been a lot of progress in the last few years, well, few decades, and there is definitely a backlash from the far right because of that. But I don't think the solution to that is to say, oh, let's go back and be less progressive. Yeah. I, I think we just need to carry on and there will be backlash, but eventually those people will just get used to it. But I think it, it is a shame to be so divided because that can't be good for the, the community. That's true, but, and we also have to take accountability for our own community. Like, we aren't above anybody else. We're not, we're, we need to take accountability and call out when it happens. We can't sit here and just be like, oh, poor me, poor me, our community, everyone hates us. Like, what are we doing? Why are we, why, why are we bringing that to ourselves? Why are these laws ourselves? coming up? So m most of the laws that are coming up and the reason why acceptance of us has gone down Women is and children are being targeted. When you that's it. Don't mess with the women and children. women and children, that's not an attack against our community. That's people defending their group of people. You come for someone's kids, there's gonna be lots of laws and I hope that there would. Sorry, you come from women's spaces, I hope those women are going, there's gonna be laws. It's not an attack on us. It's an attack on these things happening and why ex our acceptance is going down so much. And I, I think like at, at any point or you know, at any point in history, something was once considered like too progressive, too mm -hmm. radical. Yeah. And so like in this moment, like you believe that, which is why I believe that like I'm so progressive because in this moment, like this may seem too progressive or too radical or too out there. And in 20 years from now, like maybe, you know, we'll be saying like, oh my gosh, our kids, they're so left and they're so progressive and they're so yeah. radical and like, we'll feel like they're taking that charge and like, they're That's pushing for And so like, but like, you know, at a time like wearing pants was so radical and like you're all wearing mm -hmm. pants except for me, like at a time like that was, that would have been insane, mm -hmm. right? But like at, like at this moment in time, like, you know, you're sitting there saying that we're being too progressive and like too radical, but like there was a point in time when what you're all doing, what you're all wearing, what you're all saying would have been too progressive or too radical. I feel like, I feel like comparing what somebody's wearing to 
transitioning kids harming children is a big yeah how's a it big harming? leap I was just we can get into no, that no, in a no, sec no, no, but I'm the not, point is like you. although you guys are saying oh be progressive be open to everybody let anything happen let anything goes it's like when no. kids are well that's kind of what she just said things are constantly changing we're going to look back and there think, has to there, there has, has to be gatekeeping there, there has, to, has be. to be there's kids being harmed right now there How are children are they being harmed? there are children committing suicide and removing body parts at minors as minors yeah. This is what my group does and what I do, eat, breathe, and sleep every day. And I yeah. see adult detransitioners crying, yeah. can't live their life, and on the verge of suicide because their parents took them to a clinic where they got breasts removed at 12 years old. Their breasts removed at 12 years old, and that is starting, people are fighting for those rights my to friend, do that. My that's oh, disgusting. Our friend Chloe Cole was, was I agree, but that's less than, that, what is that, one, the detransitioners no, are honey, less than it doesn't one matter, right? It doesn't it's matter. Not. I'm just, we, maybe, let's, maybe, maybe let's the ones start, that are public I just said I agree, though, maybe with the, the kids' no, situation, I, yeah, 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 but I'm just saying, we often target a very low percentage and make it the example. And that's what I feel like conservatives and Republicans do, mm -hmm. is y'all target one example, one situation, and act like it's the whole community. I would date a trans woman. Bullshit. <laughs> Bullshit. Well, I guess. Oh. Well, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Eh. Yeah, you're surprised, right? Yes. See, a lot of people a lot of people don't know. I mean, does she have a vagina? I don't like I don't like I, that's a general preference, not I, I, disgusting to say general preference. Please don't call it a general preference. It's a sexual orientation. Exactly. So I don't prefer saying, vagina. I don't like dick. So when you're saying sexual orientations, you are referring to who you are attracted to. Correct. When you are saying that you do not have a preference for mm -hmm. that genital portion, mm -hmm. that is labeled as genital preference. That's so your label. That's not my label. Sorry, would you mind if I finish? Sorry. So yes. trans women, what the question is, is that's gender. It doesn't matter whether they've gone through their procedures or not. If we're dating a trans woman, it shouldn't matter whether they have a vagina or a penis or anything. So I should, I should like convince myself that I have to be attracted to somebody's genitals if not I'm not. I, I personally would date a trans woman, but I don't think it's transphobic not to want to. And because that doesn't define whether that trans woman is a woman or not, just someone else's preference, that uh, trans women are women regardless of where they are at in the, their transition. Yeah. I 100% believe that. But uh, whether or not someone is attracted to them because of that doesn't That's affect it. That's who it. they are and uh, for me personally um, I am more attracted to the female energy like presentation and being for me it's more about that than what they have down there for me personally but it's not like that for everybody like right. and and I think that's okay I don't think that's and I'm not one of those people that's gonna take away the validity of how somebody experiences themselves yeah, so but that, don't take away my experience as long as I see not, myself yeah. as a lesbian. That's what this means to me. Yeah, it's different than someone saying, oh, that's not a real woman. I don't want to... I never said that. that. Yeah, that's different. Uh, but someone just not, have, not feeling attracted. I don't think that's a problem. Trans women are trans women. Yeah. And, and trans women can be many different no, I don't think at it's stages nice. in their life. I don't think it's nice either to just say trans women are trans women instead but they, of... But they are. Well, they are, if, but if, they if are a, also If a trans women. woman is a woman, then I can be a trans woman as a woman. No, oh, but trans, well, you're taking, woman me, is an, you're, an umbrella me, term. I don't agree with that, though. Well, trans but is a category of women. I so don't agree with that. You could be a blonde woman, a trans woman, a pink-haired woman. I, but and so when you specifically me, say trans women are trans women, you're kind of saying that they're not the same as us. They're not. They're not. That, that's, that's the whole purpose of them transitioning, right? Yeah, I, I also just want to say that I think that when we're talking about dating trans women or dating trans people, like like non-binary people fall under the trans umbrella. So like, like I would also include dating non-binary people. Mm -hmm. Like I know we're, we're thinking about trans women specifically, but like non-binary people are trans. Yes. And like they also fall under that umbrella. And like, you know, there's, I, I feel like any like non-man dating a non-man, like we now define as being lesbian. Would you date a, a woman with a penis? <laughs> I, I think that personally I have a genital preference, but I would second, 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 would you? Currently, like I would say that I have a genital preference, but I would never, rule anything out, like I've dated non-binary people. Um, I wouldn't rule out dating anyone who's trans. I think I'm also like a very progressive and open-minded person. I wouldn't say that if I loved someone that I would rule them out for being trans. 
I don't like the fact that you used open-minded, but you're allowed to say that, of course. It's your, it's your yeah. prerogative to, to say how you feel. But Thanks. to me, open-minded comes across as me being closed-minded. Well, and nice. I don't think you can, I'm just saying, just saying, like I'm not closed-minded because I have a sexual orientation that's monosexual. Absolutely. Thank you, appreciate that. Hello. I agree one is not better than the other, but we can all have our preferences, right? I don't agree that trans women are women. Trans women are trans women. Trans women are men who have suffered through gender dysphoria, who have transitioned into presenting as women or going through surgeries, taking hormones. That is perfectly fine. There is, yeah. They're completely valid in who they are. But it's also okay for me to have a preference, meaning I'm not interested in male anatomy. Now, I have dated trans people before, trans men. That's mm -hmm. great. I love that. But trans women, it doesn't do anything for me. That doesn't make me transphobic, which is why I say no. It's not that they're bad people. There's nothing wrong with them. They're completely valid individuals. But I also don't have to agree that, number one, they're a woman because they're not. And number two, I don't have to say that I'm attracted to them because I'm not. Why do you say they're not women? Because they're not. Why, though, if you could? Because our, our definitions of woman are different. Or so you could the say they're not female, but they're a, a woman because being a woman is just a, a gender. It's not mm -hmm. biological. Mm -hmm. It's not the sex of the person, yeah. it's yeah. the gender identity. Two separate so things. here's where we have a disagreement, because I believe that sex and gender are the same thing. Mm -hmm. If you were born a man, mm -hmm. you will always be a man. Now, if you want to transition to be a woman, that's awesome. You can be exactly who you want to be. That doesn't change your chromosomes. That doesn't change the hormones that your body naturally wants to produce. If you have to inject yourself with hormones to become something, you are not that thing. Mm -hmm. What about identity. intersex people? Humans. So going born. right back to like the extremely small percentage, mm -hmm. intersex people are completely valid. But that's m much more common than people realize, especially when you're a woman like myself that produces more testosterone mm -hmm. All lesbians than do. most women. Mm -hmm. No, mine's, no. You, you don't, you, I, you, no. Which is even more than I, normal? Yes, yeah, so especially athletes, um, just masculine women, there's, women that suffer from PCOS, mm -hmm. I think, yes. saying it yep. correctly. Yes. Um, there's been women taken out of, uh, that have medals taken away in the Olympics and things like that because their t testosterone is higher. Yes. There's, it's much more common that, that those things occur, like especially with intersex humans, than people realize. So I'm just wondering how do you feel about that? Because you touched on a very small percentage earlier with the kids, right? So can we- That's fair. Sure. Yeah, can we just, I just wanna know how so you feel I have, about that. I have no issue with intersex individuals. Again, we're going back to our orientation and our preference. If I was attracted to someone who might be intersex, that's great. That's cool. Yeah. I'm just, I'm not. Or maybe I've just never experienced someone like that before, and that's fine too. They're not invalid as humans. They're not invalid in their identity, but I don't have to change my attraction and force an attraction mm -hmm just to help fulfill someone else. That no, I it's don't not the attraction I was wondering about. It was if they need to take you know, something to balance out their it. body to be able to present as they're seeing, mm. how do you feel, do you, are you saying that they're not how they present because of that? And that's what I was asking. That's a really interesting question. And in, in the case of someone being born intersex, um, which given that is not something that I have very deep knowledge on, and I'm going to go ahead and put that out there, I don't have, you know, very extended knowledge on people who are intersex. But I don't see an issue with that. I really don't. Like, if you have to take hormones to present a certain way, have your voice go up, go down, grow body hair, not grow body hair, okay, then you are forcing a change upon yourself. And that's simply the reality of the situation. Or just balancing out the body to be healthy. Okay, so we could also put this, say, cis men, who as they age start taking testosterone replacement therapy, TRT. Mm -hmm. That doesn't make them not men. That's just balancing their hormones. So yes, I can understand. So then that yes, kind of, okay. that combats. Yeah, so that's what I'm asking you to think about when you think of the trans community mm -hmm. as well. You get what I'm it's, saying? It's a really interesting thought, yeah. Okay, um, thank you. I, I just, that's all I wanted you to do is just consider something that's often missed. Sure, in the case of intersex, in absolutely, I can see your point. In the case of assigned female at birth, assigned male at birth, transitioning, that's a completely different ballgame. I didn't get to talk earlier, but I love women, you know. Um, Heard. I I agree with you earlier, um, of like, I guess general preference. But I'm not limiting myself because if I meet a beautiful human, I have a connection with. We'll figure it out. I don't know. That's just how I feel, and um, I just, I don't know. I just, I also just 
think that to assume that a trans woman is whether they have their parts or not and if they use them in a traditional way is a little bit gross to just that's not true lead either. with that um no i i just i'm just saying to automatically assume like because you went to are you gonna suck a dick are you gonna suck a dick often my <laughs> trans women friends and the ones that i've dated don't want to show up that way Most in a don't. sexual space so Correct. i think it, that's what i'm saying i think it's it's gross to think about it like that. I think that there is nuance to this conversation. I think I have the fundamental understanding that if I'm going to date a trans man, they are a trans man, which means they were born a female, which means they have female body parts, female hormones, female chromosomes. That doesn't make them any less of a person. Mm -hmm. Now, I can be polite if I like someone, if I vibe someone. I have no issue using your preferred pronouns. I have no issue addressing you how you wish to be addressed, but I also don't have to agree that men and women are the same thing. I also don't have to agree that a man who transitions to a woman is suddenly full force woman. No, he will always be what he was. Now, if I want to use she, her, cool. I can be respectful of that, but I'm not going to ignore basic science in order to uh, tiptoe around people's feelings. Mm -hmm. I, I, can, I, can. I, I, have a, I have a I have an interesting story to tell, and a lot of people don't know this about me, but I dated, you would say a, a trans person is who they say they are, no matter what their transition stage is, correct? Absolutely. So then I have dated a trans man in the past. A interestingly While you enough. identified yeah, as Absolutely. Trans yes. So then did you see him as a woman? No. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. I'm sorry. Sorry. Yes. Not after the fact. She, I mean, I say she, not because I'm misgendering them, because I'm, otherwise I'd be mis-sexualizing myself, mis-sexual mis orientationing myself. <laughs> but... They presented as a female to me. They were female. They were fully intact as a female. They called themselves lesbians. They transitioned later on. Technically, I did date a trans guy. Does that mean I'm bisexual? No, yeah. I, I don't think Absolutely so. not. They, they didn't Absolutely not. I'm sorry. Identify as that when they were... So I'm bisexual then because I was attracted to a man? No, they reason. didn't identify as that when they dated you. So you're taking but they did. their experience. They did, though. You just said that they transitioned Not from later. my knowledge, but they... Oh, well, you're born trans, right? If that's the truth, you, you're born with gender dysphoria. So they always knew that they had gender dysphoria and always knew that they were internally a man, whatever. He was mixing so many things he was, up. But he was saying that he was like a lesbian when you guys were together. He right? told me he was a lesbian. He, he looked like her, right? Present as a woman. Okay, okay. so then you're like but taking inter someone's journey and making it about you to be like, oh, I guess I'm bisexual and I'm gonna do it. No. I, no. But th that, I agree with you then. So we're, we're in agreement that I'm not. Bisexual. You can that. be firm in your lesbian identity, like. Oh, so no matter who I sleep with, I'm. No, I'm just okay. saying, like, despite okay. having dated someone who like uh, transitioned like after you guys broke up, mm -hmm. like, you can still be firm in your lesbian identity. Because of the society and the media and everything, and you know, people that are pushing us down, we don't realize that we're trans until way later on in life. Regardless of how he identified, I was attracted to him because he was a woman. Yeah, at he the was time, female. So absolutely. the point is, the whole the whole prompt: Would you date a trans woman? Not if they look like a dude. I don't understand how a lesbian can be conservative. Cute. I think that was a huge question that I really did have going into this. Because, like I said earlier, conservatism itself is keeping things the way that it is. Mm -hmm. Through the experiences that I have had, that my girlfriend has had, that we all have had. Um, I don't like how it is right now. I would love to progress forward. Again, as a non-binary lesbian, only through the progression did I feel accepted. Did I feel safe? Like, did I, you know, that's how I found my girlfriend, stuff like that, mm -hmm. moving forward and progressing forward. Yeah, the right has famously <laughs> been always against uh, the LGBT community and always, uh, especially in the past, has always uh, fought against um, uh, equal marriage and everything, so it surprises me to see that there are gay people who identify as conservative. I, I think it's fine for people to have their political opinions that are not attached to their um, sexuality, of course, but at the same time, for me, it's hard to support a party that is, has always been historically against us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And like being conservative and like being Republican, I think are also two separate things. And like being conservative, mm -hmm. like truly is about like, you know, staying where you are or like keeping things similar. Yeah. Whereas like, pro like progressives like want to progress and like move things forward. And like being the people are Republican for all kinds of reasons. 
Um, but I think that it is interesting that people can be in the queer, queer community and not be interested in progress and change, like especially as a, like so many conservatives have been so anti-LGBT for a very long time. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I, I say the same. I think there's a difference between moderate and conservative and, you know, just wanting to live your life a certain way because I know a lot of, I would say, more moderate lesbians that don't want to partake in the prides and do things like that. They just want to live their life with their wife and their kids and that's very different because nowadays conservative is combined now with Republican in my eyes. And so when you're a Republican lesbian, you're, yeah, you're against the, our community moving forward and progressing and you're also aligning with the oppressor. Mm -hmm. And so that's why I have a hard time understanding queers being conservative or slash Republican because you're aligning with the oppressor and not going against change in the positive direction for our community. For sure, yeah. I get the impression that just because they don't agree with certain parts of our community or certain parts of the left, then they go all the way to the other yeah. end of it when really that it's not really necessary because you can't disagree with people that are on your own side and have different opinions um, you don't have to suddenly say oh yeah let's yeah let's and be a conservative now yeah mm -hmm. and like part of i think like what is so like amazing about being progressive and like being in a community of like, very progressive people is that like you can have a difference of opinion like mm -hmm. not everyone's going to feel like as left-leaning as i am and like not maybe people are more left-leaning than me i don't know maybe somewhere um <laughs> but i think that like that's like what's so important that like we're all like working towards like making sure that people are equal and like feeling supported and like can feel affirmed in their identity and their gender and their sexuality and i think that conservatives are actively i, I think work against that and like that's where i'm it's confusing that people who are queer can be conservative. What don't you have that you need to progress further to get besides acceptance? Because that may never come. Equality. But what then, in, what's not equal? Uh, most, I'm going to say queer in general, the community don't have protections in certain areas, like where you live. You can't adopt. Um, or you can get fired on the basis of your sexuality. Um, the uh, things are in place to protect that, but if it's still happening often, then that's why we need to progress to make our life and our lifestyle a norm so that we don't have to face discrimination. I, I mean, West Hollywood in LA is supposed to be a gay haven. Mm -hmm. And I, as a person that has hosted parties there and been a promoter there for 11 years and still and know the owners still face discrimination almost every single time I go there because there's discrimination within our community mm -hmm. and so now I'm, I'm I'm as a commissioner I'm working on that because we have to fight it even in this city that everyone thinks that everyone's accepted mm -hmm. so can you imagine that in LA in West Hollywood if that's going on, how it can be in other cities and towns and states for people that look like us. Right. Well, I just don't see what laws, politically wise, would, would stop people from being discriminated. Like, people are that way. There's always going to be people who are racist, who are transphobic, homophobic. What laws, I guess, what rights do we not have? We can adopt. Well, there are many countries where just being gay is well, that I punishable understand. by right. death In death other penalty. countries, of course. I'm, I was just referring to the United States, but yeah, I totally agree on that. Other countries, absolutely, they need to do something about that. But here, I just don't, any lesbian couple can get married, have a kid, adopt a kid, have all no, those but rights. I'm saying that because you said, why do you still need to move forward? Why, why do you feel the need to progress? And I think it's because developed countries are leading the way in general for the whole uh, well, LGBT community. Well, acceptance has gone down now. Thinking about the, when you say people are always going to be, you know, transphobic, yeah. homophobic, that's why we want to progress. Because of hopefully course. one day, and even if it is 300 years from now, we don't want that to happen. Of course. So, oh, you asked why is acceptance going down? Yeah. Acceptance is going down. It's it, statistically, we are, the acceptance straight people and anyone, is, is, it's lowering. Why is that? If we're so progressive, why is it lowering? Because we're going too far over. We are now attacking children's and women's spaces. I'm going to jump in right here um, because we're not just looking at social issues whenever we're talking about yes. conservatism versus leftism or right versus left. Yeah, social issues are absolutely a part of it. 
But then we're also looking at, okay, how are we taxed? How is the government spending our money? How much of our tax dollars are going overseas? How are our schools being run? How are our children being taken care of? Do you have a nice library in your town that you can visit? All of that can be traced back to your political leaning. Mm -hmm. And I think it's very important to understand my sexuality has nothing to do with the way I think the government should spend our taxes. I can understand like a lesbian being a Republican. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can understand like a lesbian like voting for a Republican. Like if that's your perspective on like on whatever else and maybe that's, you know, it's your own, your own prerogative who you want to vote for. It's not like we have whatever, all these choices. Um, but I think that when we're talking about like being progressive versus being conservative, literally you want progress or you want to conserve the past. What needs to be progressed? Like, in our community. Like, like well, there's no, so much prejudice. But prejudice no law is going to change that. Whether you're Republican or, or liberal, that's not going to, I mean, a law is not going to change that. we think about social movements and social issues across the board. We think about the acceptance of black people, of gay people. Like, we, we think about how progressive movements have made us more comfortable mm -hmm. in our identities in social spaces. Okay, then, mm -hmm. there, but there are movements. That has nothing to do yeah, with politics. Can I give you an example of the racial divide in this country, right? Laws were put into place so African Americans can vote and be equal humans, right? Mm. And do you not think that those protections put in place allowed African Americans to be more accepted as time went on? Absolutely. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. So Absolutely. Yes. You sure. say no? No, I was, I'm processing it. Yes, yeah. I think I'm you're like right. thinking but that I, same I, thing. I don't completely agree though. I, I think saying there, that, but there's still that racist ra people today so that right, didn't fix it did. but they can't <laughs> it went come down. for us yeah it, it it normalized and and brought people together and not to see the racial divide as inhum inhumane or I'm not, you're not a human because you're african-american that changed so what we're asking is for equality so that our us as humans are able to exist like everyone else and and that we and, and and that there's a equal ground here like just respect and that's what i'm saying mm -hmm. is it's very necessary to put these protections in, in place so we can live like everyone else but we do live like everybody else there's no no you, i don't you being able to say that is privilege absolutely no i'm not trying to for you it is people are homophobic to me too but it doesn't affect my life i, wasn't I don't that. let that yeah i, I didn't say just, that no 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 um it's a privilege to not understand Every but other how do you know I don't understand? Because you're asking me the questions. Well, yours is different than hers and hers and, and hers, that's right? Exactly so, what my point was, <laughs> so right? how can you I tell me I'm privileged? How can you feel safe? How can you tell me I'm privileged? I live when in Florida and I feel very safe. Uh, you show up differently than I do. And then, very oh, I show up I, I, very Florida. differently than I do. There's a there's more Hispanic people to. in Florida than yeah. there probably are in California. Mm -hmm. Actually, what is that? That has me. That's what you're talking about. Is that not what you're talking about? You're talking about race relations. You can walk down the street in Florida and be cool. I because I'm femme, because I'm not like 100% femme, like wh where, where's the I think that we should take a trip about? to Florida and see what it's really like. Yeah. What you hear and oh, what I you experience in Florida is all the time, but Okay, then is anything fine. ever happened in Florida? I'm, I'm, those are very protected spaces that I'm in. And oh, then when I do you... travel around, yes, I've gotten death threats. I've had to shut down events that I've done. I've had, um, yeah, people name me by telling me to pick out a coffin. Tell That's me obviously I'm not the... okay. But yeah, then I those mean, people are in power okay. is what we're kind of, sorry to cut you off, oh. but those people are in power now. Yeah. Those people are deciding the future of our country. And that... The Democrats? No, those people that are hateful, that are homophobic, that are transphobic, unfortunately, those people are becoming in power. We're not saying that the, these exact laws need to be put into place. We're saying now people that are following these people of authority and, you know, are really listening into it, and now these are the only thoughts that they're thinking of. There's no one in place of a power, really, right now, that are pushing for the progression. I'm not a conservative because I'm a lesbian. I'm not a lesbian because I'm Amen. a conservative. I'm a conservative because I agree with more than 51% of the conservative beliefs. Amen. I don't even agree with 100% of the mm -hmm. conservative beliefs. I might even hold more liberal views on certain individual topics than maybe even some of you. It's simply race, sexual orientation, disabilities, none of that puts people in a liberal, conservative, or a middle box. I think most of our disagreements today are simply just because of language. Mm -hmm. My version of woman, her version mm -hmm. of woman, your version of woman are all different. Our versions of conservatives and your versions of conservatives yes. are completely That's why I said it was different. important. Yeah. What does this word mean to us? What does woman exactly. mean? What does conservatism mean? What does liberal yeah. mean? Because by definition, yes. by the old school definition, I am a liberal. Yes. I am pro-freedom mm -hmm. of speech. 
pro e equal rights, yeah. pro capitalism, pro free markets. Like that is a liberal. Yeah, I think it's just mm -hmm. the language is completely evolving. Mm -hmm. And would I agree with conservatives twenty years ago? No. Probably yep. not. Yeah, of course. But so language, fluidity, right there, everything is just <laughs> yeah. constantly moving, and we mm -hmm. just have to live within our current reality. We can't compare. You can't compare any of us to conservatives 20 years ago, just like we can't compare you guys to liberals 20 years ago. Pride should be taught in classrooms. Join our middle ground Patreon to watch this yeah. exclusive prompt. Okay. Lesbians can use he, him pronouns. I think the reason why I stepped forward is because of the idea that pronouns equal gender. I think that's also why I kind of hesitated as well because when you're saying use he, him pronouns, at first everyone assumes it's their gender, sexual orientation, everything. I think it goes back to my belief that pronouns do not equal your gender. I, like, I know non-binary lesbians who like go by any pronouns. Mm -hmm. And I think like there's, you know, I think that there's maybe you meet more non-binary lesbians who use they, them pronouns or use she, they pronouns, but like, I think that anyone who's non-binary can use any pronouns and be defined as a lesbian. Thinking of you and thinking of my non-binary friends that, like you said, use all pronouns. And so that's when I realized that I agree. Yeah. I didn't step forward with the rest of my team just because my first <laughs> <So cute. laughs> I love you. Just because my first thought was of when straight men called themselves lesbians. Yes. Oh. And uh, I yeah, and I always thought that was so disrespectful and cringy and that, that was my first thought, that's why I was like, Oh no, straight away. But then when you were talking about non binary people, I was like, Oh yeah, that's true, there are non binary people who also use uh, he him pronouns. Uh, at the same time, I still disagree a little bit just because if, like, if pronouns don't equal gender, what is the, What's point? the point? Yeah. So I feel you. I, I think to me it's a, it's a bigger conversation than just somebody's identity. If we're in this community trying to make the world understand us more and trying to actually be progressive, as you guys call it, why are we just trying to, why are we also being more confusing? Yep. The only thing that that winds up doing is making yourself feel better. Yeah, but I think what you're saying with that is you feel, you know, validity within yourself. It doesn't matter about what other people think, you know, what the um, outside community thinks. I think we should just be accepted of everyone, no matter what. So, you know, even though we have different beliefs, you know, we're still going to respect each other and understand that even though our identity, we feel validity within it, it doesn't matter what other people think. And I love that. I think that's absolutely the best way to go. I think it's strength within yourself and actual self-love and self, uh, you can self-express the way you want. To let other people make you feel invalidated is the worst thing you can do. The reason why I didn't step forward, and I actually struggle with this one because I am all about freedom of speech. You are free to say whatever you want, to use whatever pronouns you want, to present how you want, I don't care. And so on one hand, yeah, a lesbian can use whatever pronouns they want because that's their right. That is protected in our constitution as your freedom of speech. But on the other hand, I am not obligated to validate that, and I'm not, I'll, like, in my opinion, a lesbian is a woman who loves another woman. I believe, what I believe is a woman. Maybe not everyone here agrees what a woman is, but I believe that. So if I say a lesbian is a female or a woman who loves another female woman, mm -hmm. then they're probably going by she, her pronouns, right? but then they also have their freedom of speech. So it's very middle, a little bit muddy for me on this one. You can go by whatever you want. It shouldn't matter to, what other, to other people what you go by. If you are a lesbian, then you are a lesbian. And me as a lesbian, I'm gonna support you. If you realize that you're not a lesbian anymore, it's fluid. I'm gonna support you no matter what, no matter what pronouns you go by. Because I have been in that case where I, I wasn't educated on what I could be. I've gone through everything under the sun. I was a gender fluid lesbian at one point. I did use he, him pronouns at one point. But again, through my self identity, I've discovered who I am. And I think by knocking down people's journey and discovery is exactly what saying people who use he, him pronouns cannot be a lesbian because in their own self identity, they see themselves as getting to that journey and they're going through things that we don't understand. I think that we can both support, respect and love individuals who are going through their journeys, but also be diligent to protect spaces. That's why we have 
TQIA+. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That is why our umbrella has expanded to be what it is, so that we can both protect our spaces, but also accept, love, and encourage, and support individuals who are not quite sure what they are quite yet. And that's okay, too. You can you can do both. Do you feel like non-binary people are encroaching on lesbian spaces? Like, do you, is that something that you feel like is a real, like, social issue, or? Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Depends on what side of the non-binary spectrum they're on, I yep. think. That's what I was gonna say. Yeah. What do you mean by side? Because non-binary itself means you do not have a binary. You are but not you still on either side. But you still have a sex. Make it make sense. Let's, let's, how about all of us together, the middle ground is, let's make it make sense before we push everyone else to accept it. Well, we always have work to do. Yes. Right. No but matter what. No we all showed up. Right. We all showed up we here. We all showed up here. <laughs> we showed up. So it's, it's not just like saying you're going to dismiss someone just because you don't understand. It's, it, that's part of the work that we have to do. But you guys that's are why the I was trying, especially with you earlier. We don't. So you guys have to figure it out. We don't. We want it to stay the same. Right. That's but fair. right <laughs> it's now. It's not our responsibility. They're trying to undo everything that we did to I have equality. That. And so. They're well, not taking away marriage. So. Uh, that's on the list. It's okay. It's on the well, list. We talk, like you said, you, we will talk about the bills after. Just like interracial no, marriage is on the list. There's no bill out there that is going to take away gay marriage right but now. You, but I'm saying you not being able to understand that is privilege, and that's why I was under. That's I, I was trying to get with you earlier. I understand it. I'm very versed but in laws and to bills. Reverse it's not privilege equ to marriage know equality about that. to reverse interracial marriage mm -hmm. protection is on their list. Sure. Okay. That they would that, like to undo. Okay. I think we so can all agree scary. that that's wrong. Yeah. Right, yeah. of course, of course. Everybody so that's agrees with that. But, but the thing is, it's not, that's not happening. That's not actually happening. Okay, so <laughs> um, certain things like abolishing affirmative action is a part of that process. So just because you weren't affected by it doesn't mean it's you're not, not affected about by me. It. I don't care what. I don't know why it's. But that's all, where I'm trying to get you to see. I'm not, not a, a feelings person. I don't go. I don't like laws change and all that based on I'm feelings. Not, I'm a fact. I'm a logical person, person too. Well, but you don't understand what you're not I do understanding understand. is being able to have your frame of mind is a privilege. Period. You can have the frame of mind too. You, you're not thinking about anybody else that does not have the you same privilege that, that can walk like you walk that has access like you have access. How do you know that? Not everybody knows. How do you know that? Because of the way you. I don't know what I do. You don't know anything about me. It, I don't have to. It's the okay. way you're speaking so you and your way that you're able to you not can put a label on me when you know somebody nothing else's about experiences. Me. I include everybody's experience. I just said that absolutely multiple times. You're, not when you you're think thinking about you yourself think. and your experience. That's privilege. exactly. I have That's to. Privilege. I speak for a huge so part of our I. community. So do I. Okay. So do I. I don't think so when you're trying to say that we have enough protections and, and enough I, equality where we are. I just said no. You're not talking. I said what don't we have? I'm asking what. Don't we have? Do you think that we do not deserve all the same rights as everyone else, we and that we can't, we should not keep progressing to get that? We have all the same rights as everyone else, and that's privilege. Okay, cool. Thank you. But people not in the community <laughs> also don't have the rights. Point I've been to make. But people you not in the community and to actually... think that is privilege because not well, everybody gets to live we, the same way as you. Tell me what rights we don't have. What laws that we don't have? Girl, I'm gonna send you. No, I so want to much. know. No, say I it now. Say, say it now. now. No, if I, you're going to sit here and rights? tell us that we're missing rights, that we are not allowed to exist. No, some tell us. Tell uh, me. Some families, uh, first of all, marriages, uh, gay marriages in certain states are not, they do not have the same benefits. I already shared that with you earlier about uh, gay families being able to adopt. That's I already shared that with you families. earlier. Uh -huh. Okay, gay families not being able to be a part of churches. I said that. There's so many things. But that also happens to straight people, too. Some certain straight people get married and they don't, they're not allowed to have certain benefits. That, that happens to, that's not a gay specific uh, thing. What it's, rights do you, are you enough. able to get married in this country? Are you able to adopt a child? Are you able to do what you want to do and make content on the internet? I will have. And other people are not, not, but that's have, not a community I'm issue. I'm not gonna have the same e e journey as a, a, if I wanted to adopt, me, myself. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna have the same journey as a straight couple of trying to adopt. Of course not, but nobody else, that same straight person may not have the same journey as another straight person. But of they don't course. have all the same biases lined exactly. up against them. There's no law Thank that you. you can't do it though. There's no law that you can do it. If What's the bias? If there's protections in place, well, then they cannot If do people it. don't like it, okay, that's one thing. There's no law that's gonna Girl, change you it. you don't be listening. Gay men are more socially accepted than lesbians. <clears throat> So I definitely agree with this. Um, first off, there's 
hardly any spaces for lesbian only. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Welcome. Sorry. No, welcome. <laughs> I'm happy. I thought of something. I thought of something. Um, also, you know, when you see two gay men out in the street holding hands, kissing, there's not a woman that's going to be like, ooh, I'm going to get in between that and I'm going to, you know, but when it's the lesbian, that's what men do to us. So, mm -hmm. no, that is less socially acceptable. If anything, the, a woman's like, oh, a gay man, let, let's be best friends. Let me meet your partner where guys are like, I want to be your friend for ulterior motives. Back to the fetishization. Um, yeah, exactly. Absolutely. Yeah, so that's what we face. So that's a social in society. Um, also, you, with just spaces, you heard there was like, at least where I'm from, there was like 10 bars on a street. They're all gay, gay, per, gay bars, um, which lesbians can go to. But there's one small little bar that's like lesbian only. It's like, I don't know. It's just yeah, yeah. Absolutely. How do you guys feel? I agree with it. Yeah. What you just said. Yeah. I think, I think it's interesting, and, and the thought that I had when I was back there is that lesbians are more accepted, in my experience, by people that are not on the left, and gay men are more accepted by people that are on the left. And I think it has to do with the whole reversal of, I'm trying to think of the word, the, the, whole, the whole reversal of, um, I can't think of the word, give me a minute. Just go to somebody else, it'll come to me, give me a minute, because I was trying to think of how to say it over there too. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I completely agree with you. I think, you know, going away from politics and, you know, going away from liberal and conservative ideas, lesbians are fetishized. They are, um, their rights are not being as spoken about as gay men. Because, yes, gay men have had it harder in the past. I will say that. Yeah. Gay men have gone through a lot worse than the lesbian community has. But because of that reason, we've progressed so much in the gay com you know, for gay men. The, the progression for lesbians haven't quite gotten there. And I think that's what we're trying to do is get to that point where we can have the same progressions that gay men did have. I, I think that's a fantastic point. And I was going to say feminism. Feminism, like, mm -hmm. oh yeah, and, and I think it says a lot that you call yourself a non-man, and I don't think I've ever met a man that called himself a non-woman, and I think that's a really mm -hmm. important thing to note that's going on on one side of the aisle with lesbians, but not mm -hmm. with gay men, and I think that to me it just shows that there's a little, or a, a little, a lot of misogyny still, on on coming from the left, in my that's opinion. True. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that that's actually the really I think point. Me as a human, as an individual, I feel like everyone has especially in our community and the LGBTQIA plus community has had experiences and like negative experiences and discriminations, all of that. But with me as like what I, part of what I do for a living being in the political space, um, I see that specifically cis white gay male have it a lot easier than everyone else. Um, as far as um, ownership, um, career, finances, access. In America. Uh, it, yeah, in general. Yeah. And so, and that's what I see, and that's what I was talking about earlier with mm -hmm. the things that I'm fighting for. I'm fighting for space, because we don't have that. You said you mentioned a small bar. Yeah. We don't even have that. Wow. But right. that's where I'm wow. coming from as well, where I say it's important for lesbians to have their own spaces mm -hmm. and to know what a woman is and to know what a lesbian is, because we have so few of those spaces already, and to open it up to everybody, that everybody's queer now, Where's my community? Yeah. Right. And um, as a person that tries to create space for people, I often have to fight battles of them not want, them wanting to give us nights that are like the off nights, not yeah. the popular nights, because they think Wednesday we don't, nights. us as lesbians don't <laughs> yeah, make always. enough money to, you know, to, f for that space for that night. And are often times I'm finding that my bar percentage or whatever has to be much higher in order to have that space. So then as a person that tries to create space, I'm finding it very difficult for us to have space, um, especially in the community of where it's primarily white, cis, gay, male. Sure, yeah. sure, yeah. I think for me, the, this is kind of a very gray area question. Mm -hmm. I think in media, like movies and TV shows, men definitely have it better. There's a lot more gay male movies, whereas I just had this conversation with my girlfriend. All the le the very few lesbian movies that there are, it, they usually end up being very sad, and either they break up or one or dies, they go back to or they go back. Yes, <laughs> and they're yes, all depressing, and there's maybe y'all got to make the movies. Yeah, there's <laughs> I'll buy it. Ending. I'll, I'll buy it. it. I'll buy it. But like lesbians in 
public spaces, I feel, have it better because we, we're kind of very masculine forward. Gay men are not very, for the most part, seen as not very masculine. So they tend to get bullied more if they're, even if they're Which not- Which is also a misogyny thing. Yeah, exactly. Way. Even if they're not gay, if you're just a more effeminate man, you're, it's gonna be a harder time. Whereas even, I've always dressed very masculine. This is probably my most feminine outfit I have. And it's fine. I'm not really bullied for it. I'm not, I mean, in school, sure, but not in real life. So I think gay men have it better in TV and media and lesbians have it better. From my point of view in Society. real life, yeah. And I hate to, you know, uh, say this again, but again, that is a privilege. I personally, being a masculine presented, I, I, I come confident in myself, but I hate it. I hate having to go out and be spit on and be, you know, yelled at from a window because I am masculine presenting. Um, the other day on my birthday, I was getting my free pancakes at IHOP and this man <laughs> came up to me, called me a you know, called me these words that mm -hmm. I don't like. Mm -hmm. Me being masculine presenting has even made it worse for me. But I do understand what you were saying by mm -hmm. that. I just, me personally, I don't have that sort of privilege, which oh, yeah. I definitely it's wish It's definitely I did. just, or my my lived experience, I've never been bullied for it, but that doesn't make yours any less valid. Mm -hmm. I mean, and I'm definitely really sorry that that happened. Yeah. That should not happen, period. Yeah, right. absolutely. But, I'm sure we all agree yeah. on that, yeah. so yeah. <laughs> Why did you disagree? Um, I think that generally speaking, it is more difficult for men to be accepted socially in the real world for being gay, especially if you have a man who is very feminine, um, very like, you know, maybe just not your typical, what people perceive to be masculine. Maybe he doesn't align with that. And I think that he gets a lot tougher from other men than maybe we do from women. You know, I've always been very masculine presenting. I have, nobody cares if a girl wears guy's clothing but everyone has an issue whenever a guy puts on girls' clothing. Mm -hmm. And I think that if we just simplify it to that level, we can see where societal's, society's acceptance is at. You know, it's, it's not an issue for me to cut my hair short. I used to wear a mohawk, wear dude's clothing all the time. <laughs> Nobody cares. But then you put a guy in the same situation where he's wearing maybe some leggings and a crop top or, you know, okay. then all of a sudden, people are looking at him a certain kind of way that they don't necessarily look at me. And maybe that's just my lived experience where I'm at, maybe that's my certain community. But from my perception, I think that guys actually have a lot harder than we do. Yeah, I agree. And I think it's because of misogyny because there's this expectation of men to be so butch, yes. so masculine, that when they don't live up to this expectation, they're judged really harshly. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, I, I think that like, I mean, I think I was agreeing with what you guys were saying earlier, especially from like a social perspective. Like, I think lesbians, like we're so few and far between. We have like barely any social spaces, barely any bars, like especially from like a social, like meeting other lesbians in the real world. is Like we definitely, like that is, it's shrinking like every single day. Um, but I do think that like, um, I, the re only reason I didn't step forward is I think that uh, it all really goes back to like you were saying misogyny and like patriarchy. Like gay men, I think are thought of as being like aligned more with women and I think we are somewhat more aligned with men because we're attracted to women or non-men. Um, and I think it all goes back to like patriarchy and misogyny. Mm -hmm. And I think that like that hurts all of us. It hurts gay men, it hurts lesbians. Um, I think that like not to a race, I think, like you, like you guys are both saying, like being masculine and being butch and like identifying, and, and lesbians ha used to have to dress that way, mm -hmm. to identify each other mm -hmm. and like see each other in the real world. So like I don't want to erase like how hard it is to be like visibly queer. Um, but I think that patriarchy harms us all. It harms gay men, it harms lesbians, it harms er like all queer people because we have to align ourselves like within patriarchy to like be safe. Mm -hmm. And I think that, you know, maybe we're non-threatening to men in some ways because we all like women or, you know, but gay men are not non-threatening because they don't, they're not liking women or whatever, but it's, it's all harmful because it's patriarchy. Mm -hmm. yeah. Absolutely.